Get over here! What's up everyone, the Green Scorpion here, and welcome to a rather special video. First of all, let me introduce my lovely girlfriend, Amber, who is also known as Ignis. Um, we just, we're coming back from a uh, day at Hershey Park, which was awesome, wonderful place, recommended to anyone in the Pennsylvania area. <clears throat> also got a bit of a sore throat, so bear with me here. But, uh, we're on our way back home, but, uh... Amber had a brilliant idea uh, that we're gonna do the uh, boyfriend girlfriend questionnaires, like something like that. It's like called the girlfriend boyfriend tag, I think. Okay. Um, by the way, before we actually start on that, uh, for those of you wondering, Amber does have her own channel. She's known as Ignis. Uh, what's your channel called? Uh, Ignis Animations and Entertainment. I'll put a description. Not a description. I'll put a link in the description below for anyone who wants to check it out. She's an animator, so she does some pretty good stuff. <clears throat> in fact, uh, she uh, is responsible for uh, my new Five Minute Reflections intro. Um, hopefully, that'll. Hopefully, I'll be. I'll have been. I'll have showcased that by the time this video comes out. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna be doing that. Uh, so I guess we can just go ahead and get started. All right. So first question: When, when, and where did we meet? Uh, we met at Crayola. <laughs> Uh, we, uh, ended up working in the same station, right? Yeah. Like, Like, uh, you, you were still new, so you are still under being trained. Yeah. So you were in the attractions department a lot. Yeah, which I did not enjoy. Um, I was actually hired there as an entertainer, and I'm happy to be actually doing that instead. Um, but yeah, um, that's where we met, and it was... It, it was a rather interesting experience because it was a boring day, right? Yeah. And then, like, we suddenly got to talking. Next thing you know, like, we found out that we share similar interests uh, to the point where we ended up reciting the uh, in, the intro to Samurai Jack together. Yeah. <laughs> that 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 was the moment where we were like, Wait, "Who are you, and why aren't we hanging out?" Yeah. Yeah, and now, like, every time, like, someone asks, like, oh, how'd you guys meet? We, we, we recite that intro. Yep, it is wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, question two. Where was our first date? Where was our first date? Uh... I know, I'm struggling to remember, too. Oh, great. Oh, um, well, this is, like, something we should know. It is. It wasn't Diner 248, was it? I don't... No, 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 no. no. You, know, you know what it was? Um, I took you to VR. It was that, yeah. Yes, I remember we had dinner somewhere. I don't remember where it exactly. That, it might have been at your mom's house. No, we had, we didn't have dinner with my mom until, like, we were a little bit into our relationship. Oh, okay. But no, like, I remember, <clears throat> like, we were hanging out that one day. Yeah. And I was like, no, okay. We got uh, dinner at the Circle somewhere. I think it was, like, that coffee shop. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And uh, after that, I decided, hey, let's go do something cool. And I took her to the VR cafe at the uh, Palmer Park Mall, which was, uh, which she ended up loving, actually. I know, so, it's an awesome place. It is a very good place, great place to hang out. And yeah, that was our first date. And uh, good first date, in my opinion. Not a lot of people can say that they took you to virtual reality. Yeah. All right, so that's good. Okay, this is an easy one. When, where was our first kiss? <laughs> My parents' basement. Yep. Um, kind of a kind of a spontaneous one too, because we just looked at each other and it was like, we, are we both thinking the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Which honestly, I think is the best way for it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> that that was a that was a wonderful moment. What were we What were we doing at the time? We were, we were playing, playing video games, right? Yeah, we were playing video games. <clears throat> Mario Kart. Yes, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. That that was it. Most people end up hitting each other after Mario Kart, but no, we ended up kissing. <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> Who said I love you first? Technically, I did. <laughs> uh, technically, like, I think you were the first to say it at all. Yeah. And it was like, how did you say it? Um, I remember the text, actually. Yes, it was... You, you asked me, like, oh... Well, you asked me, like, oh, how did you feel? And I'm like, oh, what? And I'm like, what? In general or about us? And I'm like, and, he, and you were like, both. And I said, oh, happy and in love. Yes, I do remember that. And I was like, oh, wow. That was, that was, that was a wonderful moment. Yeah. That was, that was a good moment. So yeah, she's the one who said it first. What's my weirdest habit? Huh. Oh, I did mention this to you. I do remember you mentioning this, but I don't remember what it was. 
Would you like to buy it? <laughs> sure. That's the new cooking. Okay, I so this is gonna be sound really weird, but to him it's kind of makes sense because I'm a memer. Um, I like to listen to <laughs> um, the troll -a -la, la song whenever I'm cooking alone. <laughs> okay, yes, I do remember you mentioning this. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Why though? It's a good song to cook to. It has a nice. How is that a good song to cook to? You think I'll, like you think you'd listen to like something like like Italian or something like that? I don't know. Guitar music. Oh man. <laughs> what about me? Uh, let's see. Your weirdest habit. Um, I know this one. You can recite like really obscure references, and you can do voices really well. Pretty much, and I do it constantly, even alone, just to like break the silence. Yeah. If there's one thing people must know about me, I hate silence. I can't sit in a quiet room by myself at all. I really can't. I gotta talk. Meanwhile, I love the silence. Yeah, that's, uh... Th th there's, there's a little conflict between that, because, like, yeah, we can sit in silence in the same room. We've grown that close. But there are moments where I'm, like, stopping myself from talking. So, what am I good at? You're good at art. You're good at animation. You're good at, uh, drawing. Uh, you're good at cosplay. You're pretty good at cosplay. Thank you. You are good at video games. That's an you easy You are good at, you are really good at editing. Thank you, thank you. You're really good at voice impressions. I don't know what you're going on about. I'm just here doing my job. Slaying vampires and werewolves and leprechauns. I never actually found one, but do you think if I cut one up with my knife it would spill out like a charms? <laughs> Love Alexander Anderson. Okay, what am I really bad at? Uh, fighting games. Yeah. Fighting games. I'm still new to the video game scene. Yeah, which isn't which isn't a bad thing, mind you. Like you're picking up on Smash Brothers at least, but uh, yeah. Uh, don't don't ask her to play at a tournament at a Street Fighter. Oh, forget it. You forget it. Like, what is up, B? What is up, B? Yeah, you're still re you're still working on that. I know, I know. I can't remember that for shit. <laughs> Okay, what about me? What are you really bad at? What um, am I bad at? Uh, let me think. I can think of one thing that you might remember, but, uh, like, it, it's, it was relevant, like, earlier yesterday. Cooking? Yeah. I'm you, not, I'm you, not... I mean, you actually did pretty well. All things considered. But you don't know a lot. Yeah. You didn't know what El Dente meant. I, d I didn't know what that meant, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure Tony is going to be watching this and he's going to cringe at that. What's my favorite song so far? Oh god. Uh, favorite song so far? Uh, I should know this too. Because, like, I know you like a lot of songs. I know a lot of the songs you like. I don't know which one is your favorite. Uh, it's not Death of a Bachelor, is it? Slowly becoming my favorite, but not quite not yet. Not quite. Um, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, GD. What, what is that called again? GDFR? GDFR? I, uh, go, I don't know what the S stands for. No, like. Dang. That song that's your jam. You were dancing it. You're dancing, uh. You were dancing at it at the Christmas party. Oh, 24 karat magic! Thank you! That one. Yeah, yeah, I love that one. Okay, there you go. That That's probably your favorite. Yeah, I also like the Fifth Harmony's worth it. Okay. Like, those two are, cl are, close, are very close together. Gotcha, okay. Okay. What so, about me? Hmm, currently I would have to say Despacito. Nah, that, that's, that's my mom's favorite song right now. I do like Despacito, but not quite my okay. favorite. Like, if there's one song I can listen to, like, uh... Is it video game music? It is a video game song. Okay. In fact, uh, we were actually listening to it earlier. Was it the Snake Eater one? It is Snake Eater. Love that song. Love it! What is something you wish I didn't do? <sighs> <laughs> this is getting into 
some touchy territory. Uh, if I were to pick one thing I wish you would stop doing... Uh, I can't... I don't know. Because uh, there's nothing really about you that bothers me. I mean, I know that's kind of like... That's kind of sounding like cheesy, typical. Oh, did you test me? You're sitting there because you're your boyfriend. But no, seriously, like, I can't think of something that she does that bothers me. I, I really can't. I know there are some things that I do that bothers her. I mean, she's probably going to enlighten me on it in a bit. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, nah, I can't think of them. I can't think of something right now. The only thing that really bothers me that I wish you didn't do was occasionally, like, you're late. Yeah, I I'm a pretty turdy person. I'm not really good. I don't really have a good sense of time. Yeah. And, yes, like, that. you're not alone on that one. There are plenty of people that say, you know what, Oscar, like, you gotta really, like, work on your time management. And I'm like, yes, I do. For those of you... For those of you uh, about to go in the comments about my, uh, about my uh, video schedule, <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop it. What weird talent do I have? Uh, I know you have one. Like, you have the uncanny talent of being able to crack pretty much any uh, joint in your body, but... Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't call that weird because a lot of people do that. Actually, no. Not to the extent you, that you do. Like, you can crack a lot. Like that. Well, look at that! I can just keep going. Oh, God. I can keep going. Yeah, that's my answer. Uh, I think, I think your answer for mine is pretty much going to be the same one for our previous question. Let's see, um... Like, Weird Talent? Oh, Weird Talent? Um... Yeah, uh, yeah, impressions. Yeah. Just, just, I, just, I'm just able to, like, memorize anything I hear, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I can even memorize my own videos. What am I definitely afraid of? Ooh. Oh, this should be interesting. Uh, hmm. What are you deathly afraid of? See, you're hard because, like, you, you'd think that people would say, like, insects or certain animals, but not you. Like, you're not afraid of insects. Not really, or, no. Or, like, reptiles or anything. In fact, you're fascinated by them, and that's something I like about you. Most insects, anyway. What's one you don't like? Um... It depends, like, uh... Like, there's a difference between insects that petrify you and insects that just annoy the crap out of you, like yeah. flies. Yeah. What are you deathly afraid of? I actually don't know. I don't have an answer for this one. Um... I don't know, I... Hmm. You gotta have some kind of phobia. Well, I mentioned before, earlier, that I'm all like, I'm like... It's not, I wouldn't say it's deathly afraid fear, but, like, I always fear that, like, the mountain lion or something's gonna come out of the woods when I'm hiking. Oh, okay, so, more like, uh, more like a predatorial animal? Yeah. Yeah, but you're not necessarily afraid of them unless you're, like, face-to-face -face with them, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, you're, it's not like you're scared of them, like, if they're behind a cage. Right. But then again, like, that's most people, but again, like, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Um, what about me? What are you definitely afraid of? Yes. <laughs> you are def you're not definitely afraid of it, but you mentioned you're afraid of heights. I'm afraid of heights. I'm not definitely afraid of heights. There is one thing I can say, though, that I'm definitely afraid of. Okay. Drowning. Really? I am seriously, seriously scared of drowning. I did not know that. Like, I'm not, I'm not afraid of deep water. I'm not afraid of, uh, like, the ocean. I'm not afraid of, uh or anything, I'm not afraid of swimming or anything like that, but I am deathly afraid of the idea of drowning. Like, if someone were to, like, uh, like, if someone were to, like, put me in a situation where I'm underwater or in a situation where I can't breathe, I lose it. So, there you go, learn something new. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Complete this sentence. Um, my boyfriend is, or my boyfriend slash girlfriend is blank. Really? Yes. Uh, so just come up with something? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Um, like, I, I want to do something. I, I want to come up with something unique. My girlfriend is... <laughs> you know what? I, I think I'm going to go with this one. My girlfriend is creative. Thank you. You're very creative, seriously. Like, uh, you got a good eye for arts, you, uh, definitely, uh, you definitely have good taste in entertainment. So, yeah, I'd say creative is a good one. Okay. Your turn. Okay. My boyfriend is... You are... Devoted. Huh. You're very devoted to your work. I like that. Thank you. That, that, that's a good one. Okay, that was fun. That was fun. Where was our first trip together? Uh, trip? Hmm. Hmm. I, I think I know the answer to this one. I think it was... Katsukon. Yeah, I think it was Katsukon. Yeah, Katsukon in, uh, where was it again? It was in Maryland. Maryland, right, that's right. Yeah, our first trip was in Katsukon, as a matter of fact, uh, which was fun. She went, she attended as a guest, I attended as a worker there. Um, but it was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was good. We're planning on going next year, in fact. When do I become the biggest fanboy slash fan girl? Voltron. Yeah. Keith. Keith from Voltron. No, actually, it's... No, 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 not Keith. Uh, Shiro. No, Lance. Lance? Oh, Lance. Okay, why didn't I remember that one? Yeah, it's Lance. Uh, Lance from Voltron. She she is huge fangirl for Lance from Voltron. Yep. Also, also Lapis from Steven Universe. Yeah. Uh, what about me? You, um, usually anything Fire Emblem. Usually. Yeah, um, I can see that. Yeah. At least as far as I know. Um, I still haven't gotten Lin in Fire Emblem Heroes and it drives me up a wall. <sighs> what is one thing I love doing but most people don't? One thing you love doing that most people don't, uh... Oh, well, that's a tough one. I don't know. I mean... Uh, can you give me one? I don't know, maybe cosplay? Duh, there are a lot of people that like cosplay. I know, I know. It, it has become more mainstream. It has, it definitely has. I mean, in regards to cosplay, there is one thing I do that not a lot of people do. Oh, you probably can handle it from yeah, like, I, I mean, in terms of cosplay, like, there is one thing I do that not a lot of people do. Crossplay. Yeah, basically. Uh, how many people, how many, uh, people do you know that can say that they like dressing up as girls? Or how many guys do you know that can, that, like, say that they like dressing up as girls, uh, for costumes? Same can be said for me, though. That's true, actually. I think we, I think you and I share that, actually, now that yeah. I think about it. Yeah, we do. Cool. Man, there you go. Oh, that's the center here. No, it goes around. Oh. There was an arrow on the ground over there. Oh. But there was also a sign. Yeah, the do not enter that way. Oh. Do you want to go in? Yeah. Okay. okay. We're going to end off the video here, guys. Yep, uh, we uh, made it to a white castle over here, and we are starving. So Absolutely. Thank you guys for joining us for this very special episode on uh, the Green Scorpion channel. I am the Green Scorpion. And I am Ignis. And we will see you guys next time. Yeah. Go check her out. She's awesome.